Today on My Grandpa's Train, I'm going to show you how I made my own flashing water tower using parts I found in my basement. Let's get started. What I am doing here is modifying the wiring control for a relay circuit. This originally was a windshield wiper delay control that was intended for using in old cars that only had single speed windshield wipers. This circuit used a variable resistor which changed the voltage input to the transistors which then changed the delay of how often it closed the relay to trigger the windshield wiper motor. At 12 volts, the circuit operates at 3 second intervals. Since my car already has a delay built into the wiper control, I decided to modify this one by bypassing the variable resistor and removing it altogether. This will drastically simplify the wiring underneath the train table, which will then be just the red and black power wires and the two blue wires to the lamp circuit. The lamp is wired in series with the two blue wires, which are tied to the same 12 volt power supply. So now all we have is just the two wires to power the relay and then the two wires to trigger the light bulb. That's a whole lot simpler. Okay, so here we are at my temporary work area for wiring this. So the hot wire, the red goes to positive from our power supply and then one blue wire also goes to the positive power supply because this is going to power the light bulb. The ground wire goes to one ground of the light of the tower and also the ground of the circuit. <clears throat> so this one will get grounded over here from our power supply. And then our last two wires, we'll just tie these together. Now I'll plug in the power supply. And it takes it a minute to warm up. Once the capacitors are charged, it starts the flashing circuit. It goes once every three seconds. So now I have a operating accessory water tower that I made myself. Let's install it, but before we do that, I'm going to properly put this together so that it sits straight on there. So I'm going to off camera drill out these rivets in this base and then the water tower top will sit on the on the uh, base of the beacon. All right, so I got the hole drilled and the wires run through the tabletop on my layout. And I have power hooked up and the relay circuit connected underneath. It's still on temporary wiring at the moment, but at least it's not draped over the top of the tracks or anything. And uh, as you can see, my flashing wire tower circuit is finished and uh, in its home on my layout. So if you enjoyed this short little electrical video, 
stay tuned because I have more coming up on this channel right here. Thank you.